I don't even know what to say about this. And then we got chicken wings as well. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Good thing you have me with you. Good thing I have you, yeah. Exactly. All right, so this is the chicken burger. <laughs> it's like drenched in cheese. You can barely see the burger, but there you go. And then this is a surf and turf dog. And then we got a side of mac and cheese because if you go to a vegan place, you always have to try the mac and cheese if they have any. Mmm, looks delicious. So we're basically going to be sharing all of this food. I'm actually not feeling all that great today, so I'm probably just going to take a couple bites of everything just to try it, and then the rest is Jose's. <laughs> What a day. What a day, what a crazy bitch day. Um, so today is Thursday and we did go up to London for like the first half of the day. Um, I started my monthly friend today and it's been, it's been a, a battle, so. Um, we came home a little bit earlier than expected. We didn't stick around in London for very long. And now we're back at my sister-in-law's house and we're just gonna relax because we've just been going and going and going and going ever since we got here and we just need to just chill for a little while and spend some time with Jose's family. And so we're just gonna relax here. And I thought I would show you guys some treats we're gonna have right now. So this is a place in London that Jose knew about and we kind of just happened upon it yesterday. And it was funny because yesterday we got, here, let me look at the camera again. <laughs> so yesterday we got um, one of each of the vegan donuts and brought those home last night. And then again today we came across a different location that had a couple of different vegan like donuts that we didn't see last night so we got those <laughs> one different option oh one more okay so one more other flavor that wasn't available last night and so we got that one and actually jose just got an extra jelly jam donut because he loves jam donuts so i'm going to show you the flavor the new flavor that we got today and it's all mine and i'm so excited <laughs> all right so this is one of the ones we picked up today. So it is a Biscoff flavored donut. Look at that thing. You can't really even see the donut because it's just so glazed and beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna devour that. And then I'll show you, that's just Jose's extra jelly donut. And then these are the four that we got last night. Oh gosh. Wow. Those look insane. I can't recall all the flavors for these, but um, this is the jam donut. Was this like an apple fritter or something? I'm not too sure. I don't know. And then apparently this is like just an all around crazy awesome dessert donut with <laughs> like 
flavors are. I don't. I mean, it looks like there's some brownie and some cookie dough. Maybe it's like a cake or something. I don't know. And then this it must be like a strawberry flavored one. But we didn't even bother looking at the flavors. Yeah, Jose basically didn't even bother looking at the flavors. He was just like, can I get one of each flavor of vegan donuts? So, that is what we did. And they smell absolutely incredible. I wish you guys could smell them. But if you're ever in London, you have to give them a shot. <laughs> I guess give them a try. <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. Good morning! It is Friday morning and we are so sad because it is our last full day here in England and I don't want it to be and this week went by way too fast. Um, the first half actually wasn't too bad and I was kind of happy at the pace that the beginning was going but these last couple of days have just been just so fast. <laughs> um, so we went and got some Greggs. We got um, more vegan sausage rolls for breakfast and had a tea. And then we went into an, a store here called Iceland. And they had a good little vegan section. And we actually, um, I'll show you. We got some like vegan pudding things that are frozen. So those are what we got. They look really, really good. Like it's like the molten lava cake kind of thing, and it looks so delicious. So we're gonna give those a try, and of course, whenever we get like stuff for ourselves, we also get a couple extra so that his family can try them. Um, and we're basically just waiting on his sister to get out of a hair appointment, and then we're gonna just figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the day. Um, there's a small kind of place here called Blue Water um, that we might go to. Um, the weather actually looks kind of nice at the moment, so I also would really love to go to Canterbury, um, which would be more of like outdoor kind of shopping. I mean, the shops are indoors, but you're walking around outside. I don't know, you, you probably know what I mean. Um, <laughs> so it's really just dependent on the weather and what it looks like when it's time for us to head out and just what we have time for as well. It's like almost 11, I think. Thing. Oh, it is 11. So, kind of slept in a little bit this morning and been taking our time getting, you know, ready. And it's like the, the longer that we're here, the more and more exhausted we get because we try to have completely full days of doing things that we want to do. And then by the end of it, you're just exhausted and like it's hard to wake up in the morning. But we'll see what we get up to today.
actually gonna get the train back to Raynham from Canterbury, but we missed it. So now we're just kind of walking around, waiting for the next train. Um, still in Canterbury. And basically, we just came here, had lunch with Keenan. Um, he goes to college here, and he was able to meet us during his lunch break, which was cool. And then after that, we went to a couple of little stores. We had some ginger chocolate cake, and I had a chai latte, which was really nice. And I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to keep up with vlogging for some reason. Sometimes I just wanna experience the day like myself without having to whip my camera out every five seconds. Um, so I might try and see if I can get some of my Instagram story videos downloaded and kind of incorporate them into my vlogs a little bit. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I've never really tried to download Instagram stories to my computer before, but something to consider. So yeah, we're just strolling around a little bit. I'm trying to get a little bit of footage because there's this beautiful park area in Canterbury with some really nice scenery and it's spring so the flowers are blooming and stuff. So yeah, I'll try and get some footage.
Listen to me, you're booking holiday in a couple of weeks, I'm sorted. Nah, it's all sorted. 